The Monerotopia guest segment is sponsored by Cake Wallet. Store, send, receive, and exchange of Monero and Bitcoin safely on iOS and Android too. Cake Wallet is open source, and you always control your own keys. All righty, John, what's going on? Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for inviting me. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming on. I'm um, excited to have you. Excited that uh, Sigma Nero exists and has added all the Copa Monero games. Super cool. Yes, um, yes, of course. I was trying to put a picture here on my profile. I don't know why it's not working. So apologies for the dark screen. Um, but no worries. Maybe you, maybe you could also... Screen. Okay, yeah. At some point, maybe you want to uh, share your screen and bring up Sigma Nero. You might want to do that too. Oh, I don't think I will be able to do that right now. I'm with very okay. limited technical means, <laughs> so I'm I'm just glad that this is working right now. So let's give okay. Like one that wants to to figure it out, it's called sigmanero.org or sigmanero.com. I'll bring it's it up. Yeah, a website okay. where you can do peer to peer betting using just Monero. Mm-hmm. There you go. Oh. Thanks a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sweet. Yeah. So, uh, tell tell us all about it, man. What, how how long has this existed? Why'd you start it? Uh, what so, can you tell us about yourself? Obviously, you don't have to give details, but uh, yes, give, yes, give yes. us give us a story, man. So, um, this is just literally a side project of mine. I would like to keep myself anonymous uh, because I don't want this to be associated with me publicly because it's not the main thing that I do. So. Uh, I'll try to keep it anonymous for the time being. The reason why I created this, me and a friend of mine, is essentially we wanted to, to prove a concept uh, that it's possible to make transactions with uh, Monero using Sigma, using multi-sig wallets very easily. Because as we all know, centralization in crypto is a huge problem. And even in websites like, I don't know, like Monero Market, IO, which is a really good uh, website, by the way, shout out. Mm-hmm. And many others, uh, they they always have this problem of uh, what if the 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 house or what if the website decides or the administrator decides to run away with the funds, correct? Mm-hmm. And we knew that in theory you should be able to implement uh, multi sig wallets very easily. And and one use case was obviously uh, sports betting because it's it's one of the most simple things that you can do. You don't have to deal with goods or services in the back. It's literally just agreeing between two people what should be the bet and then they're, then they're just exchanging the funds. So we just spent a little bit of time figuring out how how do Monero BTC wallets work. And thankfully, there, there are very good open source libraries out there from the Monero community. So it was relatively straightforward to put this thing to work. And the concept is essentially that if you go on Sigma Monero and if you want to place a bet, uh, your bet will essentially be taken by some other user from the website. So you are not betting against the house, you are betting against other users on the website. Um, in terms of uh, how has it been working so far, uh, when we launched this, I think we launched this, uh, was it in April or May? I don't remember, uh, to be honest. We did have some interest, especially on NBA games and NHL. And then we had a little bit more interest when the Euro 2024 started. But to be honest, right now, the interest died quite a little bit. So uh, so we haven't had that much liquidity from players. And this is unfortunate because we need players to, to place the bets. Otherwise, there, there's no action. But but, but yeah, that's, this is the, where we are. And, and shout out to Alessandro, by the way. He's been extremely kind to, to promote also Sigma Nero in, in, associ- in association with Copa Monero. Uh, and, and yeah, uh, and we, we of course wanted to, to add the Copa Monero games over here. So uh, <laughs> if anyone wants to place a bet, uh, they are there uh, to, to be uh, at, at your service. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking just so um, maybe so tomorrow's games are uh, Velez versus Saramento. Um, so I see, yeah, you have Velez here. And then the other game is Juventus versus Union. Um, 
I'm totally pronouncing that wrong because I really can't see it from here. Um, I see you uh, have that on there, but then I see, but then I see you have other ones, so that might be a little confusing. I don't know what the other ones are. Oh, because then I see you have Velez versus Club Iberete. Yeah, so tomorrow there's going to be two games. Do we only have two games tomorrow? I can double check that with Alessandro. Uh, I received the scheduling from him, so this might be a change of schedule. Uh, so yes, so. tomorrow. Tomorrow's two games. Yeah, yeah. So see if you can fix that, just so people don't get confused. Yeah, yeah. Um, but super cool. So I, I love that you started this up really because you were interested in Monero multisig and you're looking for a use case to show to showcase that. By the way, I don't know if you're familiar with XMR Bazaar. We launched that like a couple of weeks ago. Um, that that was in the works for for a long mm -hmm. time, and a big part of that was uh, we built Monero multisig into that as well. So right there with you, um, we need we need we need strong uh, applications that are using Monero multisig and experimenting with designing uh, different versions of it. Um, how is yours like functioning? So how do you, how do you enter into a multisig with somebody? So let's say you know I wanted to take one side of the bet. Yeah. Um, somebody I find somebody else I guess that takes the other side. Then yeah, what so is the where's the multi sig happening? Is it is it happening inside the plat? So with XMR Bazaar, it actually takes place in the browser. We built it into mm -hmm. essentially into the browser. Uh, but for you, like, where is the multi sig transaction like taking place? Yeah, it, it's then is essentially the same concept. Essentially, you, you need to log in as a user so that we know to whom to send the, the various requests, right? But then uh, the browser of each user will create a Monero wallet, and then they will perform the Monero multi-seek uh, actions in their own browsers and send the corresponding uh, multi-seek access uh, between all the participants on the, on the multi-seek. And essentially, uh, if we have one single bet, each user will have its own uh, multi-seek key, and Sigma Nero will also have one key. So there will be multi-seek wallets that need at least two keys out of three in order to process okay. the transaction. And the way it works, which is something that which still not quite good, is that both users need to be on the website at the same time mm -hmm. for this to happen. So for the multi-seek generation to happen in less than one minute uh, for this multi-seek process to, to complete. And this okay. is what we found out that is the most sticking point uh, in usability. We we talked with with quite a few users that we had, some early adopters, and they all said that, yes, it works, everything is fine, but uh, if I want to place a bet and there is no one offering any bet, then I need to make a bet and leave my browser there hanging uh, while someone uh, decides to accept my bet. And that's not... Uh, that's not ideal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's that's hard. That's yeah. That's that's, that's a that's user experience issue. Yeah. yeah, we ran into so XMR Bazaar. Um, we we've managed to uh, Anarchio uh, solve that. You may oh actually I guess I don't know if he's he's put the info out there yet on the uh, on the multi sig implementation. But yeah, it's kind of like a chat room that stays open. Um, everybody needs to obviously enter into the multi-sig, but they don't mm -hmm. need to all be in the in the chat at the same time. But yeah, that is that does make it um, hard to coordinate. But so, are you are you trying to figure out how to how to fix that then? We don't know to be honest. Um, okay. One thing that we are also finding out is that people are very uh, reluctant to part away with their XMR for sports betting. Yeah. So it okay. looks like people that think that, oh, no, I'm not going to spend my XMR if I can use it, if my XMR is going to shoot up in price in the future. So mm -hmm. we probably will uh, add uh, prediction markets to the website for stuff like uh, elections or other events of interest, because that's probably a little bit more intellectual and people might think that they have an edge or something to prove uh, in terms of predicting a certain episode or, or a certain event. And not mm -hmm. so frivolous like sports betting. So, but we, we're just figuring out. This is literally a side project. And the one thing that we really wanted to show is that anyone that wants to use Monero with multi six, it's possible to create multi six very quickly. And that alone should add a huge amounts of trust to, to the website that is using multi six because if effectively the the centralized part or the, the intermediary cannot run away with funds. And we think that's super important. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It'd be nice to try to do like a live demo right now, but that might be uh you'd have to open up the betting on one of these, right? 
Yes. Uh, do we have any open market? Uh, by the way, one one of the things that we uh, experimented back and forth was to open the betting for each event just one hour before the event or just before six hours or just before 24 hours. And we changed a lot of times to try to find the perfect balance. We did see that if we put, uh, if we open betting just one hour, uh, it helps some users, but does not help um, other users because users are in different time zones and so on. So mm. again, coordination is really hard uh, to, for, for this to happen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see right. if it would be possible for us to make a, a live betting event. Uh, it's going to be is there a way to is there a way to honest. open up? Is there a way to open up the um, the Copa Monero ones now for tomorrow? Uh, should be open, no? Uh, Copa Monero. Um, I'm seeing you're saying betting opens in seven hours. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think there was a missed up uh, some type of some type of change with the scheduling recently. I know that Alison oh. sent us something for us to correct. So after this episode, we'll make sure that we have everything proper there. But right now, okay. I don't think we should have any any betting open. But we'll figure that out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it would have been just cool. If people can. Uh, I try to give it a shot right now to play play some bet. Yeah. That'd be fun. <laughs> and um. I, yeah. No. Very. Yeah. yeah you go, tell go, me go. what what else. What what else you what else you want to say about it? Anything else? Are are there are there any other uh, Monero related projects you're you're working on that perhaps related? No, to this? not not right now, not right now, to be honest. Uh, but I always follow the Monero community from afar. Uh, I, always, I always think that's something very exciting. That it's pretty much the obvious choice when it comes to cryptocurrencies, and pretty much every person that I talked about cryptocurrencies in general, they always talk. About Bitcoin and so on, but after a couple minutes of conversations, and we start explaining that it's not that private, has many problems with scalability, with centralizations of all types of sorts. Then it's almost like the default conclusion that Monero should be the the future, correct? And also mm -hmm. from a very libertarian point of view, Monero is also, of course, extremely attractive because of that. that that's why uh, yeah, that's why we we spend a little bit of time. Doing this uh, project just to help a little bit that, that we can. That's 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 where it comes from. Yeah, very very cool, man. And you say sport betting isn't too popular. I mean, it might just be that people don't really know much about this platform yet, because uh, and then also because of the usability issues you're talking about. Because I, I think it is a pretty good use case. I mean, we saw mm -hmm. uh, people in Ebit at day. That's that was their first reason for using Monero is they were using it to do sport betting to gamble yeah. on, on football. Um, so I think I think it actually is a pretty good use case. Obviously, you just need to solve the user experience, which is hard to do with the with the multi sig and the timing and whatnot. But I think I think it could certainly be uh, could be solved. Um, yeah. And could, I could see could I could see some real demand there. Yeah, could be also a, um, an issue of network effect because if even if we leave everything as it is, if we have many many users on the website, then the odds that there will be always a user offering, always a user accepting a bet, would make the usability of the website more more seamless and more and more fun. Uh, so yeah. yeah, maybe maybe we could somehow uh, coordinate with XMR Bazaar, right? Because yeah, we're, mm -hmm. we're really trying to focus on that, make it a, a platform where there's always people there um mm -hmm. maybe there's i don't know maybe there's some coordination to be done there i don't know just throwing an idea idea out yeah but, oh uh, I, I remember what i want to say what i want to add so we added a small feature when someone is uh, creating a new bet uh, to ensure that uh that they know with whom they are going to bet and and the reason behind this feature is that suppose that you don't know that you don't trust sigma Nero at all that uh that sigma Nero is not going to have two keys instead of one and so on what if you could ensure that uh, you are making a bet with someone that you know you can do that with uh, sigma Nero. essentially you create a private bet you share the link of the private bet with a friend that also has an account with sigma Nero, and basically that will bes put you to in contact with each other and will mean that each one of you will have one key and sigma Nero the third key and the, mm. the good thing about multi-six is that 
you can see the address of the multisig for all the users. So you could confirm very quickly that the, the new address that you got for the multisig is indeed the multisig. And you, your friend, would have a key, so it would be impossible for for Sigma Nero to have uh, more than one key. Uh, okay. So, but maybe okay. this was a little bit overthinking of features, but <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. If, yeah, yeah, if people yeah, want yeah. to do a bet with uh, with a friend or agree some type of uh, betting terms, that they could do that uh, instead of just throwing their bet into the general pool of bets that could be accepted by anyone else. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, for for a noob that's just looking to place a bet with Monero, um, you know, it might be overwhelming to be like, oh, Monero multisig, you know. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, we'll, we'll get there. It's a, good, it's a good start. And people, you know, you can effectively do it if you want to do it right now, which is very, which is very cool, which is super cool. So, yeah, I would, I would try to get those things open uh, as, you know, as soon as you can. And people can maybe we could get some people to currently it's really the, the the timing issue of getting people so maybe mm -hmm. people can f find each other on Twitter like hey anybody want to bet you know like find each other outside of the platform mm -hmm. um, coordinate there and then you go on to Sigma Monero to do your to do your betting it could be a good way to do it yeah yeah absolutely yeah um, awesome man and yeah we could put that. Uh, you know, maybe in the remind people in chats or something. So yeah, let let, let us know. Definitely, when as soon as you make it live, absolutely. Uh, I, will just word, I'll, I'll, I, I, I could I could no. tweet it out. You know, like uh, it's betting is open and live on Sigma Nero for tomorrow's two games. Yeah, uh, find people that are willing to take you know take the other side of a bet on Twitter and then go on there and, do, and place your bet. Maybe, yeah, maybe absolutely. I'll, I'll just check with Alessandro what are the, the dates or the times for tomorrow's games to make sure that everyone is is betting on the, on the right uh, match. But, but yeah, okay. and I'll, I'll give a shout. So uh, yeah, obviously uh, you don't have to answer this, but you, you where, where, are you, where are you coming from or where, where are you at? Uh, I'm just looking for insight into to Monero adoption from wherever you you may be, but maybe you don't want to reveal details. Uh, not not revealing too many details, but Europe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, is there a Monero community uh, physically where you are? No, to be honest, no. Um, so again, I only follow Monero community from very far away. Uh, I don't know many of the the people that uh, I usually uh, participate in this in these Monerotopia calls that, that you do or oh. and so on. So just just follow from far away. I just think that it's something that it will take over eventually Monero, like like Bitcoin did. It's it's one of those things that uh, I always keep a track on. But uh, aside from that, it's as they usually say, we are still very early. So <laughs> uh, it's very hard to find other people on the streets or, or around uh, or even mm -hmm. among friends that uh, know what Monero is or, or 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 all these topics and so on so it's still a virtual community on the internet what about yeah, crypto in general is there is there a lot of crypto people crypto meetups no no i, I haven't been to, into anyone i don't know if there are any meetups uh, around me to be honest but but europe's okay. a big place right so i'm sure that uh, some cities uh, do have their own uh, smaller uh, Monero communities and so on. I mean, you guys have been just into, was it Prague? It was Prague, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's the to the extent that I know that there are uh, crypto meetings happening. So we know you don't live in Prague. <laughs> or maybe you do. Maybe, yeah, we, we don't want to dox you as we ask more and more of these guys. Uh, we're just trying to get your feel. So... Uh, what what is your overall crypto take then? Are there other other projects you're interested in, or are you are you mostly interested into this like digital cash use case? No, just just Monero to be honest. I mean, years ago I, I made this survey of what cryptocurrencies were interesting and so on. And at the time, I thought that uh, Bitcoin had a huge potential, mostly as a reserve currency. I mean, you guys all know this this mm -hmm. argument back and forth for sure. Uh, and then Ethereum for programmable money and so on. And then Monero, of course, the, the only thing that is actually usable and actually can be a proper tool for 
for libertarian principles against big government uh, against overreach uh, for for liberal for individual liberties and so on and that and that was the thesis uh, and over the years i've come to realize that bitcoin is completely captured that's probably you guys also think ethereum very nebulous to be honest i don't know what's happening there so probably not fair to judge so much but i've always keep kept track of what's happening with monero and and the resilience of monero especially with the all the, the listings that you guys point out from time to time and 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 it's one of those things that the technology looks so good looks so so resilient it's almost like the obvious thing that should happen it's almost that uh, all the all all the people all the influential people that could actually create a huge network effect for monero are simply not um, are simply refusing to say the name Monero, and mm -hmm. one in one hand, I I actually think this is good for Monero to be honest, not to be so much in the spotlight because it's almost like uh, the eye of Sauron will fall uh, on the Monero community even harder than what it is than right now with all these listings, and and it would be too much of a threat for too many institutional. Uh, institutional players from governments and and security agents and 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 so on and so forth so i think that it's a tricky balance that actually monero adoption should increase but should not increase in a meteoric uh, uh, way like bitcoin did because probably it might uh, uh, threaten too many people i don't know yeah i'm just running here yeah, no, it, it seems to be working out nicely in that regard to kind of it's it's organically growing mm -hmm. in, in relation to actual real demand. And it's allowing Monero to to scale up with that organic growth in a way where it's not being shocked or overcome or like you said, and it, it's it's also allowing uh, Monero and the the ecosystem to uh, build and become stronger perhaps before any large larger attack may, may take place um so yeah I, I do i do see but you know it's obviously it's out of our hands we don't know right things can change at any moment and hopefully monero is built in such a way that no matter what the powers that be try to do it would be resilient to that in some way right um it's anti-fragile we're, we're, we're hoping right i guess we we have we've, we've been tested in various ways but uh we only truly know once we're fully attacked yeah and another thing is that at this stage the the actions of of individuals of each individual matters a lot right because it's so early stage so small things like copper monero they do matter a lot small things like sigma Nero, they do matter a lot and exactly. so we have a outsized impact on the on the eventual uh evolution of events so far that's why that's why we spent some time doing doing this small project yeah it, it, yeah it's it's uh a way to contribute to the community for sure even just um the fact that you're pushing technology ahead with regards to multi-sig experimenting with it um all, all those good things what would be what would be your general advice to the monero community perhaps people that haven't been around as long as you have that are maybe a little bit more noobish things that they should do or could do to help Monero and uh, the Monero project in general grow? Well, uh, besides talking with friends and try to explain Monero, uh, I, I don't know if I'm the best person to, to come up with really good, good advice. So every time that a friend marries, I usually give a little bit of Monero just as a joke. Uh, so that that usually gets them to, to play with cake wallet and so on. So small things like that. Uh, but aside from that, I think it will be where Monero is most useful that it will create, uh, that it will have more impact. So in places like Argentina or Nigeria or places with with lots of hyperinflation, it's it's where the the adoption is, is going to come from. It's where people are going to wise up what are the the right the right solutions for the problems, uh, and then only later only later on where we're going to have mass adoption of Monero and so on, then, yeah, then things should be out of our hands, out of our control. So uh, I don't know if it's a good idea to, 
I don't know, to, to spread this too much, uh, how can I say, in, in the official capacity in everyone's uh, life and job, because Monero is still so much associated with bad things, unfortunately, that people might still get uh, a lot of uh, negative social points, let's say, for mentioning Monero too much, I don't know. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I, I also don't want to be uh, publicly associated with with Monero in general because yeah, mm. it's, it's still too early. Uh, as as you can see, I've I've ta I've taken the uh, I've taken the complete opposite approach of that. Yeah. As you as you can see, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, but I, I guess it also depends where you're from and where you're coming out of, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You know, although I'm in New York in the U.S. where. Monero is completely legal here. Uh, nothing illegal about it, uh, but it's not listed on any exchanges in New York. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, no, I'm out there. I mean, I freaking ran for Congress in 2020 with, you know, <laughs> as the as the Monero as the pro Monero candidate. So, uh, I can't possibly be any more public about it. My take is that we need to be out there publicly so that we can make sure it's properly being framed and perceived. Uh, because if not, they will frame it as, as they wish. And obviously we know they want to frame it as a tool mm -hmm. that's used by, by terrorists and whatever it is. Whereas we know the true framing is that it's, it's a tool that will liberate all of humanity if, if, yeah. if it can, if it can grow. Um, so yeah, I think it's important to, I think it's important to, to, to be a part of that conversation. Otherwise we get defined without letting uh without fighting back and letting the, the you know the true definition of monero and the true yeah, story absolutely. of monero being told you know you you ask what what i think people should do uh they should use monero plain and simple so every time mm -hmm. that there are people that accept monero donations either writers or or some other interesting projects uh, i always uh, gift with monero always and and yeah every time that i can gift some some gift i always try to to give monero and so on so the the key is to use monero essentially for the most mundane things and uh, that's the key yeah awesome man thank you so much i greatly appreciate you jumping on and uh greatly appreciate all the effort you put into sig monero i think it's super cool that you took it upon yourself to to do do this project um guys spread it get the word out experiment with it you know once again it's not just about like whether or not you like soccer you know, just just have some, have some fun with it um yeah. give give the platform some love you put you put a lot of work into this and yeah hopefully you continue to iterate so do you, do you think you'll continue to try to like improve it or what, what, what do you think yes yeah, so probably we will add prediction markets for Sweet. election type of events in the future or probably two or three months we'll, we'll try to do that we're still seeing what thinking what's what could be the the best way uh but yeah just iterating experimenting with it and talking with users to see what they find cool and what's working what's not working have uh, you have you seen other successful versions of this perhaps obviously not in monero but in other cryptos like is there a successful no, to, be honest, to be honest no uh besides fully centralized options where you need to deposit your crypto with some casino i have not seen anything that it is a peer to peer like this of course there is now this decentralized exchange havano right that mm -hmm. is fully peer to peer and in theory should use the same concept of changing the the, the peer to peer multi six, but that's even more advanced and that's even more pure peer to peer, it does not rely on the website at all. Uh, mm -hmm. But aside from that, I don't think I've seen anything else. I, I know that there is some other website uh, for gambling and sports betting, which I think it's Monero Vegas or something like that, but I think that they are oh, also yeah. centralized, um, so mm -hmm. not using multi six. Uh, 